All right, so we looked at lots of examples and ways that we can really perfect our line charts, but of course there's many other variations and formats. And um, if you look at the chart.js documentation, um, you'll see a bunch of those examples. But over the next couple of videos, I'd like to show you the basics of how you would implement some of the most common ones that I think you would wanna use. And the first one that comes to mind is a bar chart. Um, now bar chart's really easy uh, because it's almost identical to everything that we did with our line charts. Really the main thing, the only thing that's gonna be really short that we need to change is bar instead of line here. And for the most part, this is gonna work. Um, this is a, a visualization of world population like we saw in some of the earlier line chart videos. This comes from Wikipedia. Um, and I would really encourage you to get used to looking at the chart.js documentation because it's gonna show you um, a lot of the settings. And I realize this is not like the easiest to read format, um, but if you dig around here, you'll get a sense of what you can change. Um, and I've made a couple of additional um, changes here. The first is um, I'm changing the background color. That's the color of the bar itself. Um, and I've also given it a border color. You could um, make that not have a border color or have it be the same. Um, and I've adjusted the thickness of that border. All these things are very easy to um, update or change. Um, and then the other thing that we can adjust here is the thickness of the bar. Now, as far as I can tell, there's no way to make it bigger than the um, the grid square, there's always like a little bit of gap here, um, but we can change this number. It's between zero and one, so it's a percentage. So if I make it 0.5, now my bars are really narrow. We could make them super small, or we could make them, you know, all the way across like this. Other than that, that's it. Bar chart is super easy. Um, there's really no other fancy stuff going on here. Of course, you could continue to modify this and make it work better. Um, but that's bar charts. You could, uh, I think a good thing to try would be to uh, take one of your uh, projects from last time and just try it as a bar chart, see how that changes, how it looks, how it reads. Uh, but in the next examples, we'll look at some new formats that I think will be really fun.